In August, eight members of the Saginaw Underwater Explorers ventured to Munising, Michigan to dive the Alger Underwater Preserve. After an eight-hour drive, the group was ready to hit the water. Two members had towed boats, which were soon launched for the tranquil waters of Grand Island's Murray Bay and the wreck of the Bermuda. The Bermuda is a 130-foot long wooden schooner that sank in October 1870. The Bermuda is popular with sport divers because of her shallow depth and her well-preserved condition. The wreck is upright with the top deck in about 12 feet. There are three large hatches open to the cargo hold and two companionways, so minor penetration is possible if you feel comfortable doing it. Near the stern is a large cabin trunk where the cabin blew off while sinking. Schools of game fish are common. This is an excellent wreck for the beginner. Because of its sheltered location in Murray Bay, the winds of Lake Superior seldom affect the dive location. The Bermuda is a priority stop for the glass bottom boat tours which offers tourists a chance to peek at some of the underwater wrecks without getting wet. The tour operators request divers leave the Bermuda open at specific times for about 15 minutes so that they may conduct their tours. Unbeknownst to us, a sunset cruise had been added. One of our divers surfaced to see the tour boats, which cut our dive short. Because of the inconvenience, the tour boat owner bought us all a tank of air. On Saturday morning, we awoke to a strong wind with white caps on Munising Bay, so a return trip to the Bermuda was made. Later in the day, Tim's larger boat headed to the Hetler. The Herman H. Hetler was a wooden steamer launched in 1890. In November 1926, a severe storm forced the Hetler to seek refuge in Munising Harbor. She was lost when she slammed into a rock reef. The wreck now rests broken up in 30 to 40 feet of water. Sunday morning dawned clear and fairly calm, though a heavy fog covered the area. The fog burned off as we headed out to the Smith Moor. The Smith Moor lies on the edge of the channel near the old wooden lighthouse on Grand Island which was built in 1863 and was decommissioned in 1913. The Smithmore is perhaps the best known shipwreck in the preserve. The 260 foot, three masted wooden steamer was launched in 1880. She was damaged in a collision in July 1889 on Lake Superior and lost while being towed to Grand Island. The wreck rests now in about 80 feet of water. Most of the ship is filled with sand, leaving the deck about level with the lake bottom. Even though there was limited visibility on this dive, there was a large amount of equipment to be seen. It gives you some insight into what a sailing ship must have looked like. A 
Our German exchange student, Ann Diver, took a few moments to doze in the warm afternoon sun. After a short break, it was off to the Selvig. The Stephen M. Selvig is a steel tug of 70 gross tons, 71 feet in length, with a 19-foot beam. She was intentionally sunk off Trout Point near Grand Island in May of 1996 for the Alger Underwater Preserve. The tug was built in 1915 in Cleveland, Ohio, and was originally named the Lorraine. In 1953, she was renamed the Cabot and saw heavy use during the construction of the Mackinac Bridge in 1957. In 1988, the tug was purchased by the Selvig Marine and Towing Company of Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin, and renamed the Stephen M. Selvig. The company donated the tug to the Alger Underwater Preserve in 1994. Even though the tug lies in 70 feet of water on a rocky bottom, the pilot house starts at about 40 feet, making a great dive for beginners to experts. Divers have access to all areas of the tug, the pilot house, galley, mess room, engine room, and crew quarters can all be penetrated. In March of 1995, members of the Saginaw Underwater Explorers helped prepare the Selvig for sinking by removing several generators and the cleaning of oil and grime that had accumulated in 80 years of service. The group had lunch and headed for the Kiowa. It was over a 20 mile one way trip. Part way there, Dave figured he didn't have enough fuel and turned back. Launched in 1920, the Kiowa was a steel, bulk freight steamer, 250 feet long, that was driven ashore in a gale on November 30th, 1929. The remains are in shallow water, about 40 feet deep. Huge sections of her hull are visible from the surface on clear days. The stern lies on her port side, exposing the steamer's steering quadrant and emergency steering gear. As described by the Kiowa crew, it was the most perfect dive day ever. Not only was there a boat trip along the famous pictured rocks, the dive was magnificent with nearly crystal clear water. The return trip concluded as the sun set on a dead flat Lake Superior. <laughs>